Are you being distracted from manifesting what you want without even realizing it? Let's find out once and for all so that you never fall into this trap again. This is the law of attraction like you've never heard of before. Hey, it's Andrew, otherwise known as that guy who wrote the last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read. And if you want to check the book out, you can very easily do so by going to lastlawofattractionbook.com, which will auto forward to the Amazon listing. Before you do that though, real quick, do me a favor and smash that like button, especially if you've been enjoying all the content that I've been putting out lately. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually my 79th consecutive day of publishing content to this YouTube channel. So again, hit that like button if you're appreciating the consistency and the effort, but most importantly, hit it if you're actually liking the content. I do appreciate it. Also, please stick around to the end of this video where I will have a thought of the day that hopefully will serve you very well in manifesting the things that you want the most. I've specifically designed that for this purpose, just like I've been doing that in more recent videos on this channel. Speaking of the channel, you know, very recently I got a comment, I think it was on the Stephanie Perucci interview uh, video that I did, and uh, it was very important, it really stuck out. Obviously I want to reply to the person right away, but I also wanted to highlight it because I think it's a very relevant comment in the context of ways in which we actually stop ourselves from manifesting without even realizing it by inadvertently distracting ourselves. But real quick, just as a disclaimer, it's very easy for me to sit on my high horse and say this and be like, no, don't do that and don't handle it that way. Just for clarity, anything that I ever spot out, it's only because I've been guilty of it myself and because, you know, basically I'm no better than anyone else. I've seen this stuff, I've gone through this stuff, I've made my way to the other end, which is why sometimes I believe, hopefully I'm not mistaken, that I can spot when someone else is kind of distracting themselves or trapping themselves. And I want to call it out, not from a place of I'm better than you, but more of a place like, hey, I've been there, <laughs> I've done this, let's make sure you don't do it as well and let's make sure no one else does this because we all could really use to do away with distractions, especially when there are distractions that we don't even realize are there. So this comment from, I think Igna, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And thank you, by the way, Igna, for leaving this comment. Uh, it says, I have a question about the law of attraction. Who said this law has to work? I personally believe in this law, but I'm starting to doubt if this law is just a human conception in order to make the existence of people better by giving them hope. Can someone motivate me to not give it up? Also, if I don't really believe in the law of attraction, would this work anyway? Anyways, I'm reading your book and I'm loving it. Well, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. And I want to address this. Now, first, I will read my reply to the comment, but I want to go even deeper than that. So my reply to this comment, as soon as I read it, I basically said, this might be something that I tackle in a future video, <laughs> which it looks like I'm keeping my promise here. But I would say this for now. I highly recommend enjoying the gratitude methods in particular or any other methods that really resonate with you without worrying over whether it works because just those few minutes each day, regardless of the result to follow, physiologically, emotionally, and spiritually are of wonderful benefit in the moment. Give yourself this win for a few minutes each day, the win of just feeling good because you deserve to feel good. And then who knows what else might happen for you in the weeks or months ahead. Ultimately, you'll only truly know something from your personal life experience. Let's see what experiences you enjoy through daily gratitude. And thank you so much for reading my book. So I'm pointing Igna in a very specific direction here because to answer the question of whether it works, regardless of whether you believe it or not, yes, <laughs> in my humble opinion and based on a lot of experience, I can tell you it does work regardless of whether you believe it or not because I've seen it work for so many people when they were doubting, but they were still willing to engage in the methods and the processes and just see where it took them. And that's why I really want to make sure to kind of drive the point home of, you know what, whether this works or not, just try it and see for yourself because I know when you see for yourself, it's going to work out for you. But there's another important aspect here because Igna actually demonstrated a lot of deep thought here, an extra layer of depth that really should be appreciated and enjoyed. And looking at this question here, I personally believe in this law, but I'm starting to doubt if this law is just a human conception in order to make the existence of people better by giving them hope. Like what, we're on deeper levels here and that is to be admired. And I'll tell you something, <laughs> I did that a lot for years and it's not that this isn't an important thing, it's just that it's not necessary for manifesting what you want. And again, I've been down this road and, you know, as an author, it serves me. As someone who writes about the law of attraction, 
all those other roads that I've walked down have served me. As someone who still occasionally makes time to do coaching calls with people, it really serves me well. But as a manifester, as just somebody who's trying to manifest all the things that he wants, all those extra roads, all those extra details, all those extra questions, those have never actually served me in the context of manifesting. All they've been to me are distractions. And you know, I've read some really awesome books that really went into a lot of really cool details, answered a lot of questions, raised some more, and you know, it, it enhanced me and enhanced my cognitive ability. But again, it was basically me taking weeks out away from manifesting. It was me taking time away from actually going to the process of gratitude or visualization or scripting. I was stopping myself through my curiosity from actually enjoying my life as much as I could have been. And where did that curiosity come from? Well, it was my ego. It was that part of my mind that looked around and said, Andrew is alive right now. I don't wanna have him doing all these gratitude methods and see where it goes from there because I don't know if his survivability or his probability of survivability is gonna go up if he does that. So I'm gonna distract him. I'm gonna make him really curious. I'm gonna make him answer all of life's questions, which will take forever, but that's gonna keep him safe in place or really stuck in place, right? So my ego took me down those roads unnecessarily because it was trying to protect me. Fortunately, I satisfied my curiosity and I also went through enough things where it's like, listen, I am doing these methods no matter what. Nothing's gonna stop me. I don't care what happens, how it happens, when it happens. I don't care about any of that. I am doing this. I am fortunate that I got to that point because that's where the real demonstration of the power of all this really came into play. But I first had to read a bunch of books and ask a bunch of questions and really distract myself, keep myself from going on the path that was leading to the most improvement and the most enjoyment of my life. Yeah, actually recently, if I remember right, I got a four-star review on the book and the person was uh, basically very complimentary of what I'd done, but their gripe or one of their complaints was that I did not address like the life's purpose or your purpose within the span of the universe. And that is by intention, that is by design. You notice even in this channel, in this content, it's very important to me that this content facilitates your use of methods that will improve your life and does not just further distract you by going down unnecessary roads. Valid roads, important roads, useful roads, really cool roads, but nonetheless distracting unnecessary ones that will not allow you to manifest more quickly. So, you know, I believe your life's purpose is a really valid thing to explore. All I'm saying is, while you're exploring it, make sure your priority is on five minutes of gratitude or scripting or visualization each day. Make sure your priority is, regardless of whether you believe in this thing or not, just trying it to see what kind of benefit emerges. And obviously, picking methods that are so fun that this really is a choice rather than a chore. It's something that you look forward to. It's something that, even if the law of attraction wasn't a thing, even if you didn't manifest stuff, you would still get that win in the moment by actually doing the method because you actually enjoyed it. So again, props to Igna for that extra level of depth, that extra level of thought. And again, I am saying that you were distracted because I was distracted and I'm projecting here, or maybe I'm right, but either way, hopefully like what I'm saying to everyone out here uh, is really connecting because it's so important that even when you're going on that extra level of thought and you're answering life's important questions, no matter what, the first thing you wanna do for yourself, in my humble opinion, is just make sure you're doing these manifesting methods first because as long as you're gonna be answering those life's questions, as long as you're going down those roads, you might as well be enjoying your life a lot more while you're doing it. You might as well be enjoying more money, deeper relationships, better health, more vitality, more success, or whatever it is that you want in your life. Anyway, that's me expressing gratitude for that comment and saying my piece. I hope it was really helpful for you. And in the spirit of all this, in this understanding, do me a favor, comment right now. I choose to focus on what I want. Comment that right now. I choose to focus on what I want because that's the important thing. That's what you want here. And that comment or any other comment, anything positive that you have to add here, that's going to get you entered into this month's contest where one lucky winner will walk away with Gravity the Cosmos, my advanced level, full immersion guided program for manifesting your every desire through the law of attraction. And you can very easily learn more about the program by going to gravitythecosmos.com where I have a free training on three secrets for manifesting your desires faster than you ever thought possible. Or 
If you want, you could actually preview my program through my book, The Last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read. And that's because this book has a special link to bonuses, one of which includes the first few dates of Gravity of the Cosmos, free of charge so that you can try it before you buy it. And of course, you could very easily check out my book by going to lastlawofattractionbook.com. And speaking of my book, I want to take a quick minute out here and thank one of my awesome readers who very recently left feedback. So today's five-star rave review, this spotlight review. This was left by Ari Kennedy on April 13th, 2021 with the subject heading Truth in the title. And it reads, simply put, I truly wish I had discovered this before reading all the other Law of Attraction titles I had invested my money and time in. It is my hope that this review might save another's investments. This is truly the last Law of Attraction book you will ever need to read or listen to. Bravo. Ari, thank you so, so much. I appreciate that feedback more than words can ever express. And really, I picked that one. I chose that feedback today because you were talking about not wasting time, not wasting money, just getting straight to it. So I'm so grateful that my book facilitated you in really getting down to the methods and really enjoying them and really moving forward in the life that you want. Thank you so much for that feedback. And in closing this video at, as promised, my featured thought of the day, I really hope this serves you well. Today's thought is the secret to reprogramming your vibration from a set point of lack to a frequency of abundance is gratitude. It will do all the heavy lifting for you. So express gratitude each and every day, if only for even just five minutes and watch the magic unfold. Really hoping that serves you well. Really hoping that you take that to heart. And thank you so, so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this content, do me a favor and smash that like button and be back soon because I've got a lot more content on the way for you. Thank you for watching and I will look forward to seeing you again next time.